What's up guys, thank you so much for joining me, The Indie Gamer here, back with another video. In today's video we are going to be checking out a game called Slope Crashers, a cool sort of snowboarding party-ish racing game, definitely with an arcade focus, taking inspiration from games like Mario Kart 64 and Diddy Kong Racing back in the day, and yes, it looks absolutely awesome. I saw it on Twitter and couldn't resist but reach out to the developer, who has very kindly hit me up with a key to check out the game, which is a pre-release key, so definitely take that into consideration that this game is still in development so as I say keep that in mind the game is planned to be released in quarter 4 2022 coming to Steam and Switch and other consoles too hopefully but yes let's go ahead and jump right on into some slow crashes because I'm very keen to check it out with you guys Thank you very much for being here as I say, if you love indie games and it's your first time on the channel definitely feel free to subscribe as that is what this channel is all about and it'd be awesome to have you on board. Thank you so much guys, let's jump into some Slope Crashers. Okay so let's jump in maybe some arcades straight off the bat I think and see how we fare. You can choose the speed like you can in Mario Kart, uh, I'm going to go for normal and jump straight into one of the levels here we've got snowy mountain or neon city which are available in this alpha version that i've got here on the game there's going to be a ton of tracks obviously in the main game not all just snow tracks either so on this one we've got two available so i'm going to jump straight into snowy mountain definitely found to be my favorite character so far to be the lima he is awesome love the tail wagging around all over the place so i'm going to go with him again and let's see here we've got the different board options and the frying pan of course which is pretty damn cool maybe we'll actually go frying pan shall we no we won't i better not because uh, i might not be the best at this game so far so i might need some help with regards to stats i'm gonna stick with this guy for this time and a choice of parachute let's go for this guy here let's do this guys And what a start. <laughs> did I just do that? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go. So, good thing about being at the back is you seem to get better weapons. <laughs> and better power-ups. So, we are off. Let's do it. Whoa, don't get stuck in there. Not sure the best way to get speed up when you're stuck. That's the thing. There we go. Love the parachute thing you can do. I love the way he looks around as well. Lots of charm in this game. Lots of charm. Definitely digging this so far. Highly recommend checking this game out for yourself. Give it a wish list on Steam, guys. It is uh, listing on there already. Slope Crashers. The developer is Byte Parrot. Pretty cool name. <laughs> I believe a solo developer, as I say. Which is pretty damn incredible. Doing awesome work on this game. Got a great feel to it. It just feels... Oh, except when you get hit <laughs> it feels great to play I was gonna say that's punishing <laughs> um, but I can just imagine this in multiplayer it's gonna be an absolute blast I'm just gonna slide down here to get myself reset <laughs> oh dear yeah the developer is working on um, getting online integrated into the game which would be absolutely awesome really hope that he can manage to uh, get that all done for the release of quarter 4 2022 yes, that would be such a great element and I can just imagine playing this with some of my good buddies I'm sure it would be an absolute blast yeah this is awesome <laughs> fantastic stuff
So as you, the more tricks you do, the more boost you'll gain, obviously, at the bottom there, which works really well as a, just a it's a simple mechanic, but you know, you've got weapons as well, which you use against each other. But it's just well balanced and seems, you know, just spot on really, gameplay wise. Loving the tricks. I love the way you can do a trick and then pull the parachute to adjust. Which works really cool. So it means you can really go for it on the tricks. And then not have to worry too much because you can pull it back quite nicely by holding A to re-adjust um, back to your kind of default position. Which works really cool. Seems to be going pretty well this time, which is actually a miracle because of the amount of times I've, I've tried a few times already and I failed. <laughs> so I thought I'd better get to grips with the mechanics so you can understand what's going on rather than just seeing me rolling down the hill the whole time. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, definitely really digging this now that I'm getting to grips with it. Some cool power-ups as well. So I seem to have re I seem to have rotated my board there. Let's get that back. Oh, it's dying now. That's sweet. Yeah, this is really clicking into place. Now this game is a beauty. Loving it. Got first position. <laughs> Love it. So I've got second and verb before. And now I've got first. Love it. Yeah, very satisfying this game. Loving it, loving it. Awesome work. Let me know what your thoughts are, by the way, guys, down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you feel about the game or like if it would be up your street. What's your kind of favourite arcade racing games? Um, or what's your favourite snowboarding games that you've played back in the day? This is definitely taking inspiration from some of those old school games like, you know, Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart Ball. So, you know, some other games. I think there's one called Snowboard Kids or something that the developer has drawn inspiration from as well, which is uh, one I haven't actually played, but, you know, also SSX and stuff like that. Some really cool games that is bringing back the... Um, the vibe of those to this one it really well so what I'm going to do actually is jump into another level real quickly into Neon City I'm going to try and keep this video nice and short but concise so you can uh, see what the game's all about and then hopefully if you like what you see you go and give it a wish list and you know you put it on your radar essentially that's what this is all about to spotlight the indie uh, indie games in general and uh, you know this one being a fantastic one that caught my eye on Twitter, followed the developer, so definitely feel free to do that too. I'll put all the links in the description below. But let's jump into the next race. Uh, so we've got uh, the Neon City one, which is really cool, a bit more trickier track. And I'm going to jump into that right now with the Lima again, because he is a legend. <laughs> I've definitely got my favourite character locked in. He's awesome. So let's go for this again. Let's go for this. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you very much for checking out this video, by the way, guys. If you are enjoying it, feel free to hit that like button. It would mean a lot. And if you are new to the channel and you like indie games, this is a great place to hang out with awesome indie game fans. And check out some upcoming indie games and games that have released. This is all about indie games, this channel. So feel free to subscribe if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. Uh, it'd be awesome to have you on board. Love it. Super smooth. Nice. Very nice indeed. Let's go. Whoa. Love it, love it. So we're hearing from the developer that there's quite a bit of variety in the levels. Obviously, we've got two to play with on the alpha demo that we're checking out right now. Um, but, oh, I'm going to miss that. <laughs> That's me talking. Uh, but yeah, so there's two in this on this one which have a lot of variety in, them in of themselves. Damn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the actual game, I hear there's going to be quite a bit of variety. It's not just snow levels. There'll be um, other landscapes as well, which is cool. Obviously, all revolving around the downhill aspect. And um, 
the boarding, all that good stuff. Beautiful. Let's get back in this. <laughs> You know, it's been a while since we've had like a game which has like this snowboarding and sort of like racing element at the same time. I quite like that. Some snowboarding games, they just focus on all tricks or something like that. I quite like, you know, in like the sort of way, you know, this has a balance of the doing the tricks to earn the boost. I think that's a really cool balanced mechanic which works really well in these style of games. Yes. But, um,. You know, because there's some snowboarding games or like skating games that just focus on tricks, as I say. So I quite like it when it's balanced between the racing and the tricks too, because that gives it, you know, just that arcade fun feel. And I think this is nailing that arcade fun feel really well. Oh, <laughs> right up the jack <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that was not too good. Right, I need to. I'm going to take this uh, alternate route and see how this pays off. Ice cubes. They're not going to do much good when there's no one there. Let's see what else we've got in here. That's what we need. A bit of chilly goodness, which are obviously speed boosts. Get back in this race. There we go, that's more like it. Let's do this. Love it. Feels so good when you nail that stunt and then you get the boost and then it feels so crap when someone shoots you right after when you're celebrating like I was. <laughs> oh dear. No, that's part of it though, it's that constant hustle which is great definitely going to be awesome in multiplayer this game cannot wait to check that out like that later on this game will also I believe be going into the Steam Next Fest in June which will be the next Next Fest um, coming June this year 2022 and I believe it's going to be going into the Next Fest so look out for that if you want to check it out for yourself as well guys so on when you're checking out this video of course but there we go that is the end of that race awesome stuff absolutely loving it uh thoroughly enjoyed hope you enjoyed checking out a bit of slow crashes gonna keep this nice and short and sweet today uh where do we finish on that last one we came third not too bad first then third it's not too bad <laughs> i'll settle for it i'll take that uh but yeah this has been an absolute blast checking out slope crashes really enjoyed it when I saw it on Twitter, I knew I had to try and get a, a chance to check this out. And thank you so much to the developer for sorting me out with this key to be able to check out this alpha demo. Uh, it's very kind of you and I've had a blast doing so. So, um, yeah, hope it's, um, you know, hope, hope it's very successful for you. But thank you so much, everybody who has checked out this video. You are awesome. It means it means a lot. Uh, if, as I say, if you are interested in indie games, this channel is dedicated to indie games. So feel free to subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest indie game goodness on the channel but thanks again for watching guys and i will see you again on the next one